All right, this will be interesting, guys. We got a CBR 600, R3 modified, R3 stock. We're gonna hit it at the light and see who wins. What do you guys think? And of course he wins, because he has the bigger bike. I come in at uh, second. There you guys have it. Now that you know that you do get a little bit more power when you have a modified R3 compared to Andy's uh, stock R3, which is right here. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna continue right up. I'll, re I'll record a little bit more for you guys. We're gonna hit up some roads and enjoy the run. guys as you can see this is pretty much the only way to catch up with a 600 is to launch off of second gear if you're able to launch off of second gear that's the only way to actually keep together with a 600 as it's easy he's doing his uh, victory dance right there so definitely uh, from first gear doing a launch you go through that first gear so quick you know the 600 would already have blown you away but if you do it on a second gear and launch uh, obviously you're gonna have to rev a little bit you definitely be able to you know keep up with a, a 600 as you can see that on that video I was already in the lead and then he kind of caught up to me uh, at the last minute there but other than that that was fun that was very cool And that was a good race, that last one. I, I, I actually launched it on second gear. Yeah, that's the only way I could keep up with you, right? Because my second gear is equivalent to your first gear. And that's the only way I can actually, you know, be head to head with you. So, all right, guys, I'm going to pause it right now. And